Well, Brunswick could have once been considered the tip of the spear for America's defenses and surveillance during the Cold War, though the naval air base has been gone for more than a decade. Reminders of the past certainly remain. One prominent memorial has now been the target of recent alleged vandalism. New Center Maine's David Guilford met the caretakers today who want you to know just how much that place means to the area. This is a symbol of the past in Brunswick. The P-3 Orion naval plane once dominated the skies here, leaving a mark on the town. The last active service P-3 moved out in 2009. This one is a reminder, but it's losing pieces. I think only within the last uh, two or three years have we seen an uptick. John Briley directs the Brunswick Naval Aviation Museum, which takes care of the nearby P-3. People have been stealing parts, he said, though the plane was mostly stripped when it left service. When they don't steal, he said, they pry open hatches. It's not something you come in and swipe and leave. It takes real effort to get some of this stuff off, and it, it's really unfortunate. Especially unfortunate because this plane means much more to some. They should know this is a memorial, of, above all. Kevin Cahill spent much of his life around these planes. 26 years, uh, all of it active duty in, in P-3s as an air crewman. This plane was painted to match a doomed P-3 from 1978, which took off from Brunswick and crashed in Poland Spring, killing all eight on board. Now, the memorial keeps getting disturbed. Just for the sake of trying to get, get access and open up panels, I just, um, that's what we're trying to uh, prevent. Cahill volunteers at the museum and checks on the plane frequently. His watch is about to become more frequent. He said it's gotten so bad. I'm sure these. Between setting up our interviews Monday night to meeting Tuesday morning. So when the gear comes up. He said he found another panel removed. Briley said he's reported the recent disturbances to police. He welcomes all to still come and walk around the plane, but wants them to know it's much more than aluminum and steel. This is in memory of people who gave their lives for our country and they don't deserve this kind of disrespect. In Brunswick, David Guilford, New Center, Maine. Both men say they'll be increasing their check-ins at the P3 Memorial and they're considering buying more security measures for the future. They say everyone is welcome to come see that plane up close, but they ask everyone to keep an eye out for any visitors approaching that plane with tools.